Hello and welcome. Today I would like to introduce you to Ask Alice. I think Ask Alice is something like a personalized search engine, personalized Google for people who like to write. I would say it's as simple as that. So Ask Alice is a search engine, an AI, a persona, and an instrument. And one might ask a question, so what is the difference between Ask Alice and Google? Why should we play with Alice instead of Google? They look kind of similar. So Google says, our mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. With Alice is similar, but a little bit different. It's not about organizing the world's information. It's about looking at the world from the perspective of her libraries. So what Alice offers you is to write together with the whole library and not to be concentrated to read only one specific book. So you can start writing together with prominent architects, scientists, philosophers, and whoever it is in the library. You can start writing and talking to more than 1,000 books at the same time. You can start writing, we would say, in, or I would say, in someone else's terms, whatever this might mean for you. And all the books, concepts, libraries are here to help us, in a way, expand, question, and articulate our thoughts. And I would say the main conceptual challenge is that you don't need to know what the books and their authors are thinking. You should just start texting the libraries, get to know the books, kind of forge friendships with them. And Alice is here to and Alice is with you on this journey. And you can ask Alice any question you like. If she has something to say, she will text you back. What is interesting, and the same like with Google, she will never have a single voice. She speaks in many tongues, her body is composed, made of many books, information, libraries, and texts. And every time you change her library, her brain, it's a different conversation and she has a new body. At the moment, she has five different libraries. So let's take, for example, Xenoteca and see what the body of Xenoteca is made of. Made of. So of course, it's made of books, made out of books. There is more than 700 books in this library. You can get the list for all the libraries we have in Xenoteca. And at the top, at the top, there is a, a small word cloud with the most prominent concepts and words in this specific library. Before starting a conversation with Ellis, you should propose a topic for the conversation, for the discussion. So Ellis can in a way prepare. She will organize her library towards your topic of interest. So my topic of interest at the moment is code. So I want to talk about things from the perspective of code. And now we just need to send Alice a text to start the conversation. So I'm interested in information and light. And there are two possible modes of talking to Alice. So find, find locates an exact match to your query, which means that each word, that each result should contain all three words in exactly this same form, but they might be in a different order. While explore offers a spectrum of contextual answer to this question. It's more fuzzy, it's less precise, but it has more breadth. And the active mode is always uh, highlighted. So explore doesn't find exact matches, but finds answers around. Let's, let's test. It. And here it is. List of most probable 10,000 answers. Actually, it's more than 10,000 answers. And for instance, with Marshall McLuhan, the electric light is pure information. I like this one and I will open a document and start collecting things around information and light. So if I want to copy, if I want to copy this quote, I just come here and copy it with a button, with a click on the, the copy. If I want to get a context of what, what is around this sentence, let's click on the context and we will get three sentences before and three sentences later. And we can again copy this to our clipboard and expand our conversation. 
So we are trying to create a cloud of quotes around what might be information and light. Let's try another, another search, now the precise one with find. And now instead of 10,000 results, we have only 96 results, but they are kind of, they match perfectly to our query. So one should now read fast and, and check what might be interesting. For instance, with Brillouillan, in this simple case, we prove that the information comes from the negentropy of the light beam, and we can theoretically reach the limit corresponding to an efficiency unity. Okay. Let's copy it, it sounds interesting. And later we will think how to write with this, how to compose and, and play with these quotes. What is interesting with Alice is that she will most likely never give you a single answer. No? She gives a lot, especially if you are in the explore mode. So she will all offer a spectrum of the most probable answers to your question, which is this one, from the perspective of the topic of conversation, which is code, and from the richness of the library she's working with. At the moment, is the Xenoteca library. The books are arranged according to the relevancy of the book towards the topic of conversation. So Marshall McLuhan is the most prominent one. And the answers of a book are arranged to the relevancy of the answers towards the, the query. So let's try another Another example, by changing the library to Ser Foucault, Deleuze and Derrida, it's a very nice library. Let's talk about something different, like architecture. And let's somehow relate the query to information and light. So, for instance, for light, we put openings and information we connect with infinity. Let's explore. So the, the most prominent book to talk about architecture in this context is the Luz Agatari, A Thousand Plateaus. And let's take one, one answer. There are infinitely small ultimate parts of an actual infinity laid out on the same plane of consistency or composition. Okay, let's, let's take it, let's copy it, maybe under the same title. Let's just expand, expand these ideas around information and life. And this is, in principle, uh, an infinite search, so you can play with this as long as you like until you get a kind of a consistent pool of ideas around what you want to have. And it's a question of style, are you with explore and find, and you kind of play around. So to, to be able to organize her books, Alex articulates a galaxy of concepts for each of her libraries. So we can look, for instance, for concepts around the index of architecture. And concepts are related to one another in a way that ones that like each other, they come close together. So it's not a definition of architecture, it's what architecture might mean in the context of this library. So if we look here, it's about organize, material, connect, group, lay, specify, fix, element, impose, example, approach, community. So it's almost like architecture as bringing things together in, in, in the sense of this library, while in the sense of, of another library, it might be a completely different idea of what architecture might be about. Yeah? So it's not about the building. And to expand your search and find more interesting terms for your queries, let's look at the same thing, but in the context of all the, worlds, uh, all the words Alice uses. So then we go to concepts and their affairs. Let's just look what we are looking for. We are looking for concepts 1473. So this is the galaxy of concepts of all the words Alice uses in this specific library. Let's try to find 1473. I know in principle where it is, so it should be it should be around here. 1473. This is architecture. And these are all the indexes around where we can get a feeling of what this architecture might be about. So this is the brain of Alice, her conceptual alphabet, her galaxy of concepts. What is important here is that the words that like each other are close to each other. This is the only key how one can read this galaxy of concepts, this, this map. The rest is with you and with me and with all the stories that we can make around these indexes and the thoughts they trigger. 
So in every library, every book, specific book, throws a light on this galaxy in a different way. So it specifies concepts inside of this galaxy that it likes. And this is the way how Alice thinks. So for instance, if we look at the Luz and Gattari 1000 plateaus, then it's the same galaxy with a specific light. And here they show us which concepts the Luz and Gattari in a thousand plateaus like. They like this set of concepts. So they like the concepts which are in the dark brown color and they dislike or not dislike, they're not interested in the concepts which are in, in deep purple. So if you find a book that you, that you like and you are interested in, you can check which concepts it's interested in as well. Or for instance, if the same book is in two libraries, you can change how it, you can look how it changes its mood by going from one libra library to another one. And all these stories around concepts should help you expand and profile the way you, you talk to Alice and search for interesting concepts. How to write with them is a new interesting story that we will address in one of the following videos. So text with Alice and have fun. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.